Hi, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. And we are finishing up Mystery Tracker's The Void Collector's Edition. I had planned to do something slightly more elaborate for this, but I think instead we're probably just going to finish out the bonus chapter and then maybe start the next game. Because the elaborate thing, as I will show you, is they have a paper craft section, which I might still do like a quick live stream of later and then tack it on to the end of this when I post it to YouTube. But for the moment, I, I didn't print anything out or cut anything out and it would take a really long time to set up. So this is definitely something that needs to get done though, especially the really creepy dude here. There, get, get little toothy guy. Mm -hmm. He's creepy. So that was the thing we were going to add to this, but today we're just gonna play this and I don't think it'll take too long. So let's see what this is. Cause I haven't got a clue where this could be going. Oh yes, this is Sirius Void. It turned out he had uh, multiple personality disorder and possibly killed his second personality, which is the original personality, which was the good personality. And he was in cahoots with an actress who was pretending to be a ghost. I think I got that right. Yes, he just needed more medication. Like if they'd given him more medication, he would have been perfectly fine. But she killed his doctor and so he didn't find a different doctor. He just withered away and let the evil personality take over. <laughs> There's other doctors. And like you could report to the police that your doctor died. That'd probably be a good idea, you know? Like maybe? So yeah. Okay. Let, let's see where, where this is going because I haven't got clue one. Rebecca Thatcher arrested! Cause she killed a bunch of people. Who solved the case? The mysterious detective. That's us. A uh, mad scientist put behind bars. The hospital glow? That's the name of it? That's not a bad hospital room. I'm Sirius Void, prisoner 1976. I was sentenced to life here at the prison hospital glow. We're playing the bad guy. Okay. Rebecca, I hate you. Yeah, she was totally stringing him along too. She just wanted to steal all this money and he thought she was in love with him. Hey, my cute little frog turned into an evil hand. I don't like that. Yes, dumb hat in prison, absolutely. Okay, so this is all of the stuff. I'm not reading the newspaper articles. That's fine. Let's see what we got. Before I make my move, I should take care of that video camera. Okay. I need to change the camera settings so a pre-recorded scene loops. Do I just have to put these in order? Okay. How do I put them in order? Which one is first? Let's start with midnight. Next, I mentioned that, wait, those are the same. No, they're not. I mentioned I'm dyslexic. One of the biggest problems I have with dyslexia and analog clocks is nine o'clock and three o'clock are important times in my life because they are when the kids get out of school and when everyone has to go to bed respectively, at night anyways. And I am forever reversing the two when I look at them and I don't know why. Oh, poo, I got it backwards. You go all the way up there. All right, so you go there. Go there. Okay. So 12, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I'm trying to teach kid three because his favorite thing to do is go from the living room to my office past the analog clock and ask me what time it is. This was a very easy, it needs to be in order puzzle. Not that I'm complaining too much, but probably could have been slightly more complicated than that. Wow, they let him have all, all kind of weird stuff, including a real owl. Okay, well, let, let's see what we have here. A spring, a hook. I just saw the hook. Dagnabbit. I lost it. Oh, there it is. A teapot. A bust. That's not a bust, that's just a head. A bust is to the bust level. That's the whole point of the name. Handkerchief. Three rubber ducks. Kid 2 used to have a rubber duck collection. 
It is no more. He was very sad, but it was taking up a lot of room. Yeah, like, it had gotten to the point where we had as many rubber ducks by size as we had, like, half of the other toys. Not quite as many as we had Legos, but a lot. Oh, there's a spring. I was looking for the screwdriver. Where's the screwdriver? There it is. A necklace. It's on the owl, because why not? And spaghetti noodles. Really? I read that right. Yeah, no, spaghetti noodles. Oh, they're not cooked. That was my confusion. Okay. You've successfully located a spring. I hid pieces of my utility knife around the cell. How did you get a utility knife into the cell? I must pry off the lock cover to access its internal parts. Okay. How did you get a utility knife into the cell? That one's just the knife parts just sitting on the chair. That's not a thing. And that's the rest of the knife. Oh, no, we're missing one more piece. Oh, right, bathroom. They monitor me through video surveillance. What impudence. I should readjust the camera so that it was constantly showing me sleeping. Then and only then can I concentrate on unlocking the cell door. The chief of security has a dog. Its name is Fluffy. As far as I know, people usually give such names to fat, bald bulldogs. Anyways, it's worth remembering. I am almost sure this word is used as a password in some incredibly secret place. Sorry, what? I don't have any more. Dad has it. Close my door. Kid 3 was looking for wings. Too late. He's gone. He wants wings. The security head is a kind but incompetent man. He lives alone with his adorable pet, a bald bulldog named Fluffy. Sorry, you're not as important as wings. Admit it. Ordinary sponge. Okay. I don't know why I need something to absorb things. There I am. Time has passed and I have changed. There's nothing left of Malleus because you don't take your medication. If you took your medication, we would be fine. I know, right? Nice prison. Wait, what, am I supposed to do something else here or is this just to show me that I'm crazy? I don't know. All right, I have a knife and I have a pair of slippers and I don't know what those two things have to do with each other. I got to admit, this is not where I thought that this, this story would go. A very weird lock. Also, a really simple lock. Oh, okay. Right, now what? Press start to make the ball move. Place the magnet arrows so that the ball will pass through them and be directed around the traps to reach the exit. Then type the name of the guard's dog on the panel. Oh, so these are the things that... Wait, can I turn them? Can I turn them? No. I... Oh, there we go. Okay. This is very strange. Um. My brain doesn't think I have enough of these to finish this game, but I think that's just my brain being annoying. Yep. I think so. Is that right? I think that's right. How come that didn't work? Oh, the arrows have to be pointing the right way. Dagnab it. I mean, it makes sense that the arrows need to be pointing the right way, but still. <laughs> this is sort of like the laser game, except slightly more complicated. Okay. And then it's fluffy. Well, I see. No. Why, why, why? Okay, F, L, U, F, F, Y. I couldn't spell fluffy for a moment. I hate my brain. Well, this is crappy prison, isn't it? Drat's rusty. Okay. Enter ID number to get access. Well, that's easy. I'm number 1976, aren't I? All right. 
Uh-oh. I can sneak around this office if I put something soft in my feet. That's the slippers, I guess. Um, if I put the security guard to sleep, I can take control. I think he's going to notice me. Like, I am literally in his field of view right now. And I would not be able to steal the butter without him noticing, unless he's asleep. I mean, if the stuff was behind him, maybe? All right, chloroform. Two chess pieces. One. I thought that was one, but that's not one. What is that? A glass holder. Hmm. Okay. Two knives. I need a knife. And that's a chisel. Do I need a chisel? No, I do not need a chisel. What else? Two arrows. There's one. I mean, technically that had two arrows on it. Uh, let's see. A doll. Two masks. One. Two. Four thermometers. That's not a thermometer. That's a syringe. Those are different things. That's a ruler, not a thermometer. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's the other arrow. Let's see. What else? An envelope, which I'm sure I saw. That's a postcard. Oh, no, that's an envelope. Okay. Pharaoh? Ooh, weird assortment of stuff in this cabinet. Ooh, ooh, I got, I got, I'm going to go back into Animal Crossing again. I got a recipe to make a Tutankhamun face mask. So, like, you look like you're wearing the death mask, or you can, like, put it as a decoration. Except I need five gold nuggets, and I've only ever found three, and I already used them on something. So that's slightly annoying, but I have to, I have to see if I can find some more. It's really cool. Uh, is that a thermometer? No, that looks like a shoehorn. Okay, what am I looking- oh, there's a knife. A knife and a thermometer. No. A chess piece and a thermometer. Oh, there's the king. Where's the thermometer? Or a thermometer, as my husband likes to say, because he is a silly goose. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. There's some poison. Are we going to poison the dude? Oh no, we got the chloroform. But, like, you don't put chloroform in coffee, which is kind of what it looks like we're going to do. I think if you drink chloroform, you would die, wouldn't you? Also, I don't see the thermometer. Oh, there it is. Maybe we're going to use the sponge to get the chloroform? I certainly hope so. If we put it in his tea, we're probably going to kill him. I don't think chloroform is soap. Chloroform is soapy. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. I was concerned for the security guard. A lock drawer. I need a floppy disk. Open gateway. That looks like one of those like novelty button things that you that you push and makes a stupid noise. Helicopter. I mean, there's a dude there. Wait, this is showing that I'm not there. Isn't it supposed to be showing that I'm sleeping? It seems like kind of a big oversight. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. Okay, so I need a key and a disc. It really is not good. Okay. The key, the grate must be removed. I used my Swiss Army knife to remove the grate. Pretty sure if I could do that, I could just remove it with my hand. Also, did you totally take my knife? Dag nabbit. Why wouldn't you keep a Swiss Army knife? That's one of the most useful things. The key is too big for the drawer. What door? I don't remember there being another door. Yeah, this door doesn't have a thing. I'm confused. Hang on. Hello. Dingy paper, as you well know, my name is Sirius Void. I have no one to talk to now that Malleus is gone and my ex is on trial, so I will talk to you. Prison is not the ideal place for restoring health, physical or uh, mental. I've come to the conclusion that I was suffering from paranoid lunacy. 
Rebecca's hypnotic enchantment dominated my common sense, but that won't happen again, ever. With my true values and priorities restored, I feel genuine gratitude toward that mysterious detective who refused to let me die. The time has come to leave this cozy cell and return to the big world. It won't be difficult to accomplish, as the security system here is child's play to me. Time to act. Yeah, he not gonna admit that. I've bid farewell to my cell with that monstrous iron door. What's with that door anyways? Did they really think I would blow it up from the inside? Ridiculous. Now I must get rid of the security guard at the outlook post. I can sneak around soundlessly if I put on a pair of soft slippers. A sponge filled with chloroform was a great idea. The high and mighty security guard is snoring like a grandmother. Too cute. Hmm. Now I must hurry up and open the outside door before the alarm is set off. It appears the door opens at the command of a special computer program that is not loaded on the control console yet. Perhaps I can find a floppy with the needed data. What a mean expression this guard has. Moreover, it appears the guards are very well fed, while my daily menu consisted of nothing but saltine crackers and gruel. It's not fair that the guards are kept here for the sake of the prisoners and not the other way around. Humans are so illogical. Yeah, no, he's a much more interesting character. Okay, I guess I don't need the key yet. Instead, I need to do this. And now I have a disc. This looks like a small, hard floppy disk, not a large, bendy floppy disk. And that is definitely a large, bendy floppy disk drive. Gateway opened. That was pretty easy. I guess I'm not opening this key thing. Okay. Just gonna leave. What is this? Funny, these pictures show which keys open which locks, but one is missing. This is dumb. Why do they have... Why, why do they have a spaceship? Why do they have a spaceship? Don't copy that floppy. That's okay, I've forgotten the numbers for them because I completely am terrible at numbers. It's like three and a quarter and five and a half or the other way around. And I am to a pilot's license. If you're gonna steal a helicopter, you don't need a pilot's license. No, oh, I don't know what that was. A hand, nope, that's a glove. Nothing but copy floppies. I mean, seriously, that's why they existed, wasn't it? To like move stuff around between people? Because you couldn't send things over the internet, even when you actually could send things over the internet. Generally, things that went on floppies were too big to send over the internet. So, yeah, it was a, it was a very boring time. Or a very slow time. It wasn't really boring. It was just slow. Everything took forever. And that made things difficult to do anything. I remember I would have just like a jar of Play-Doh at my desk because I would need something to do while stuff was loading. And it would keep me occupied so that I could like not be bored out of my mind while I waited for the next page to load or the or the thing to download or yeah. <laughs> I mean everything was slow back then. Everything. Like there were no exceptions. The only thing that was fast was like calling someone on the phone if they were home. If they weren't home, it could take forever because then you had to wait for them to come home. And for a while you didn't have answering machines, but that's old, old. And then you did have answering machines, but then they would have to come home and check the answering machine and then decide to call you back. And you would have no way of knowing if they were home or if they were just avoiding you. You know, like if they were out or like, oh, so-and-so, I'm not answering the phone because I'm avoiding this person, that kind of thing. There's no caller ID either, so you either had to pick up all of the calls or not pick up all of the calls. I have lost my train of thought. Oh, I'm looking for a pilot license. That looks like a wallet. Thank you for being so helpful there. All right, and scales. These are very cool model ships, by the way. I love the little flags on top. Do you see any scales? Huh. Nope, me neither. Oh, I kind of thought that was part of the ship, even though it's definitely not part of the ship. All right, now I have a pilot's license. Find a pilot's, I can structure a picture of me from pieces. Okay, well you got the 
bottom piece right. I think. Oh, I have that. Okay. Which one of these? This is the right one. Oh, I just put it wherever I want? Okay. And then, like, this nose? Yeah, that looks good. And then I think these eyeballs. And I need a bald head. That'd be you. Nope, not you. Let go. We need that part. Like that. I think somebody would notice that I just cobbled that together out of multiple pieces of, of Polaroid. Also, fun fact, you can't cut Polaroid pictures. If you cut a Polaroid picture, all of the ink bleeds out and the picture is destroyed and you make a mess. Not that you can get Polaroids anymore, but just for future reference, kids. He's just gonna let me on with that terrible picture, huh? Do I actually know how to fly a helicopter? I need to... Uh, I need a complete map, okay? I'll have to find the missing map piece. Is it in here? Could I just ask Mr. Dude? Okay, it's not in here. I guess I need to find that door. No, not in here. Is there a door in here? There's a door. Doesn't look like you can do anything in here though. Alright, let's see what this says. A helicopter! That's great! It's so kind of them to keep a helicopter ready for takeoff. I would organize a prison hospital a bit differently. Luckily for me, I'm not in charge here. Well, I think I need a security clearance document to show that young man in uniform. A pilot's license, perhaps? Yeah, no, this is a terrible prison. I I am very not impressed. Okay, but where am I supposed to use this key that I have? Which is, I assume, where I'm supposed to find the map piece. Huh. There's a door, but I can't open it. He's still asleep. There's a filing- I know! Oh, I forgot. I switched the keys. I'm very- Why are those letters all backwards? A bit weird. Okay, I'm sorry. The key that I had was the one for it that I switched for the helicopter one, and then I found a different one. I forgot already. Okay. I need to get here. Oh, this looks not fun. How come I can't go to that one? That's a one. Now I can go to that one? Oh no, now I can't go to that one. How come I can't go to this one? Route the helicopter's course to Sunset City. You must fly from point to point, covering the same distance every time. Oh. The points where you can go are all highlighted. If you reach a deadlock, go back to the start. I don't understand why I can't go to that one. That's the same distance away, isn't it? This is what I was trying to do originally, but no. Oh, they finally um, realized he's gone. Oh, it's like an oil rig. Shoot him down! Wow, that was a terrible... The Golden Hind? Just a yacht, a floating home waiting for me to move in. Okay, do I wanna... Let's go down here first. So locked lower deck means there's valuables on board. Or somebody doesn't want you breaking into their yacht. Ooh, an airplane. A black pearl. And a frog. Hey, a frog. A shark, chamomile, four helmets, one, is this a helmet? No, those are just goggles. That's a helmet. Helmet, helmet. You want a pink Vespa? Yeah, that'd be fun. I would probably break it. And that would be expensive. I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, I don't know what I'm looking for. A cocktail. Two planes. One. I saw the other one, didn't I? That's not a plane. It's like an Aleve bottle. Oh, flippers. That's the other thing I was looking for. A wrench, which I did see. A 
fishy, which I think I saw too. Ooh, an ice cream. I want ice cream. Actually, right now I'm very full because I just had a whole bunch of wings before I started this stream. A signal flare, is that this? Yes. Where's the other plane? Plane, 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 plane. There it is, right in front of me. Pilots traditionally store their most valuable things in the cockpit. No, they don't. Pilots tend to not bring valuable things with them when they fly places. Ha, there's a party going on. I love parties. Dancing fools see nothing. The only problem is the deck house is on the other side of the party. Guess the party's over. Are we gonna blow them up or something? I could shoot a flare in there. Is that what we're gonna do? Nope, okay. Can we lock the door? Nope. Right. Okay. I mean, there's like 80 bottles of wine there. I think our plan is actually to steal the yacht, which seems a little bit easy to figure out. Like, obviously, somebody stole a yacht and they'd be able to find you kind of quickly. Nope. Huh. Okay, so I have a toolbox and a signal flare. And I need to get up here, but I can't reach it. Yeah, I know, right? That seems like a terrible plan. I can't go back in my helicopter. I can go up there. Let me try looking up here again. There's nothing going on over there. Oh, wait, wait. oh no, that's just the... Oh, no! Oh, okay. Gotcha. That makes a lot more sense. Wouldn't, like, the crew come and double check? Panic sows folly. They left behind their jewels and personal belongings. Yet you made it look like the boat was on fire. Okay, that is a powder compact and a plain ring. Wait, what was that? Oh, that was the glove. All the partiers jumped out the wall. <laughs> jumped out the window. <laughs> They would not jump out the window. Rich people don't do that. Okay, um... Right fingerprint is needed to open this lock. If I ever need a fingerprint, I can powder the yacht owner's cell phone. That's not how that works. The yacht owner's mobile, a couple of... wait. Hatch is shut tight. Only blasting the roots will help. Okay. There's a key to... must be the downstairs. Wait, what's this? In, oh, they'll turn this simple projector into holographic generator. I am not following what this guy is trying to do here. I mean, I was, and now I am not. Okay. So I need an antenna. Everyone jumped out the window, which doesn't make any sense. And that's totally not going to attract any attention, right? Here's a key. A lower deck means there are valuables. It also usually means there's like people who work here. Like these people weren't cooking their own food. And I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be happy if all of the employees abandoned ship and didn't check to see if they could put the fire out. That doesn't sound like a rich people thing. That sounds like a I'm going to fire everyone who works for me thing. Cutlery. What is that? That is a binder clip. A chocolate bar. A chocolate cake. Golden Pendant. Weird. Souvenir Magnets. One. That's not a magnet. Is that a magnet? Oh, that's a magnet. That's probably a magnet. Is that a magnet? Okay. A Cranberry Wreath, which I saw. There it is. 
a mushroom, which is very cutely on the hat. Tea strainer. Okay, so we need, is that a chocolate bar? Yes. Cheese and like probably a knife. Yep, there it is. I see an eggy. Oh, that is cheese. Wow, I thought that was a picture of a cracked egg. <laughs> Why do I need a picture of the head chef? There's the antenna. That's funny, I'm becoming really famous. Oh God, Malleus made so many inventions while I committed a single crime and here is the result. You killed a whole bunch of people. Like a bunch of people, like a lot of people. If that was wet, it is no longer functional. Okay, so now we have tape. Oh, that's for the fingerprint. I don't know why we need to get in the mini bar. Or why putting a radio on top of it would make it open. Decent music. Chameleon! Okay, sorry. I already got distracted. Oh my gosh, you should have been here earlier today when I was trying to decide what we were going to get for food. I was on DoorDash and it's like, we could get this! Or we could get that! Or we could get this! My husband was getting very frustrated. <laughs> I was hungry and someone gave me control over all of the food and every time I clicked on a new thing I'm like oh we could have that and yeah it took a while uh I might not have taken it today I pretty sure I didn't well the kids stayed home and it messed up my routine and I forgot and then I remembered and it was too late. Because there's only one thing worse than having a me that doesn't have her medication. And that's having a me that has her medication way too late in the day. Because then I will just stay up forever. A box of gunpowder. That's a bit weird. Snowflake. A giant diamond. Probably not real. I mean, it's a game. None of this is real, but you know what I mean. Oh, there's another one. Two vases. Oh, there's the last one. I mean, I am substantially more real than this video game. That's all I can really tell at the moment. Is that a mask? Yes, it is. Okay. So we need an arrow, an eye, a five, and a spring. There's the eye. I saw that like five times. Arrow, uh, let's see, arrow five spring. Arrow five spring. I thought that was a streamer. Arrow and a five. I mean, that's a five. There's a five. Perfume, oh, what, Chanel number five, I think is the famous one. Now I just need an arrow. I assume pointing at something. Wait, is that an arrow? Yes. And I got gunpowder. Right. This... Am I gonna just pour gunpowder on this? I was kidding! Place the gunpowder and three additional rivets in such a way that the chain reaction destroys all the rivets on the hatch. Okay, so like... Oh, it doesn't have to be on the rivets. I assume these also blow up with the gunpowder? Wow, that's nothing. Okay. I guess it has to be on the rivets. Like that or something? Well, no, but I'm closer. Okay, let's do that. No, because there's one over here that's not going to make it then. This? Maybe if I put it next to it? Okay, I do have to put them like in between them. Try that and that and see what we get. Wait, can I do it like this maybe? Nope, that's not close enough. Okay then. So maybe I have to do the bigger one there. But this one's gonna be too far away too. So maybe I have to put them there. Like that? No, that's not gonna work at all. Okay, so no, not like that. Am I an idiot and it's just gonna be like this? Yep. 
I'm an idiot. I was trying to make that way more complicated than it was. A sword. And a teddy bear. And a ladder. Uh, I guess that's all. I just need the ladder and the sword, huh? Maybe I'm not actually going to try to steal the boat. I can create a holographic crew. Why do I need a holographic crew? Why do I need that? Okay, now I have a fingerprint for the fingerprint scanner, which also seems to need a code. The right fingerprint is needed to open the locks. This is more than one fingerprint. Yeah, like you can actually like move things with physics so that maybe he needs it to run the boat. That's really very weird. Precious stone fragments litter this jeweler's case. Okay. Hmm. That's a really cool model. This rich person has not the greatest taste in the world, but definitely interesting taste. Jeweler's case looks like he planned to do something or other. What? Oh, this is very weird. I am creating... That doesn't make any sense. Not that any of this is going to make any sense. I'm creating a signet ring. That's a very weird signet ring. Oh, that- okay. I thought that thing at top was like a shirt, but it was feathers. So it's just a really ugly signet ring. <laughs> Where did I need it? I need it in the basement, right? Yes. I don't know. Do ships don't have basements. Below deck, I guess? On August 12, 2000, the Russian Oscar II class submarine Kirk sank in the Barrett Sea after an explosion. The investigation showed that a leak of hydrogen peroxide in a torpedo led to the explosion of its fuel, causing the submarine to hit the bottom, which in turn triggered the detonation of further torpedo warheads about two minutes later. This second explosion was equivalent to about two to three tons of TNT. Yikes. And large enough to register on seismographs across northern Europe. Despite rescue attempts, all 118 sailors and officers aboard Kursk died. A year later, a Dutch team recovered the wreckage, hey, and all the bodies which were buried in Russia. I think I found a crew member in the journal. I just need to ext Oh, this dude is going to use a sword is going to make the newspaper people into holograms. This chest decorative figure is missing an arm. Now he's not. Click the sailor's arms to move them into different positions. Each position corresponds to a letter of the semaphore alphabet. Your task is to select the right letters and reveal the secret note on the buttons under the sailor. Well, that's great, but how do I know which one's which? Do I have a hint? Oh, Titanic. There we go. By the end of the first day of my new life, I had reached my goal. A gorgeous yacht gleamed with projectors and multicolored lights. I carefully parked the helicopter on the stern's landing pad. Now I'll take a look around and set the next stage of my plan into action. Ha! There's a party in full swing on the upper deck. But in order to reach the deck house, I have to traverse a bar full of merry dancing youth. An interference I don't need. I'll have to scare them off. A fire alarm has been known to clear a dance floor a time or two. After I have turned on the alarm, the gilded youth fled the bar. They were so noisy, I nearly went deaf from their cries of panic. The way to the desk house is free, and the yacht is empty. The old radiogram won't work without an antenna, and the mini bar only unlocks when the radio plays. That's weird. In order to inspect the minibar, I'll have to fix the thing. Minibars are a great place to hide contraband. I mean, it's their yacht. They probably didn't need to hide it. A stroke of luck! I found the yacht's owner's cell phone. Surely the rich man's fingerprints are on it and will come in handy. I just need a couple of tools. Fine powder to reveal an adhesive tape. That does not look like a dude's cell phone. I mean, that might be stereotypical. It just doesn't. 
A classic airplane is parked in the yacht hangar. Not bad. I wouldn't invest in this fancy toy, but I have no qualms about playing with it. If I can find a ladder, I can search the plane's cockpit. Yes, the cook of the yacht, an indispensable member of the crew. While in the maximum security hospital, I missed good meals, properly served. Now I can reward myself for all those miserable days of forced moderation. Wait, does this guy think if he takes a picture of the chef and makes it into a hologram, it's gonna know how to cook? The last hologram that he used, the lady had to act everything out, right? The maid will play a very important role on board. He will be a real military submariner. Not bad for a skeleton crew, no pun intended. All his experience and know-how will belong to the holographic copy. That, 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 that's not how it worked originally. It seems the captain's ring isn't quite finished. I'm sure he planned on having his coat of arms engraved on it. And I'm absolutely sure this ring opens some extremely secret lock. It looks like I'll have to play jeweler for a bit. What a funny lock. The tin sailor will need another arm to signal any sort of message. From the semaphore alphabet on the left, looks like on the, I'm on the hunt for an arm. Nice article, and more importantly, there's a photo of a submariner mate. He will be on my crew once I cut his photo out of the journal. A postcard with the notorious Titanic. Hmm, perhaps it's not by chance that it's lying near the arm of the tin sailor. Yeah, I was right. It's Titanic. I've become quite famous after a single crime. It wasn't a single crime. All of those inventions and malleus was barely known. You killed like six people. Or helped kill six people anyway. All right, so I need Titanic. First, you go that way, I guess. That looks right. How do I make the buttons button? Do I have to press something else? Because it's straight up in the air. And at an angle. Oh wait, no, that's not right. The the flag's facing the wrong way. Because the red part's supposed to be up. Like, if you look at this, the red... Isn't that important? Isn't that supposed to be like that? Maybe they're just drawn poorly. But that is, in fact, T, isn't it? Let me try another letter. I... Which I guess is that, but that's supposed to be straight, so it should be like this. And then this one facing... Wait, that did a thing. That was C. Hang on. And that was T. <sighs> so it's the position of the arms, not the position of the flags, which is exactly the opposite of what's supposed to be. It's supposed to be... Yep. See, this. the flag's supposed to be pointing straight down. And this flag is supposed to be pointing straight out. But the arms are doing it and not the flags. It's very irritating. And where's I? I have to go back to I. There. It's annoying. Sorry, getting picky in my old age. I mean, that's a specific language. You can't just change stuff because your drawings don't fit it exactly. Not a thing. How are you doing? I am looking for anchors, and I am looking for a life buoy, which that's, or not a buoy. There's a ship's wheel. There's a bell. All right, let's see. A scroll, I thought I just saw. There it is. And another bell. Bell, bell, bell. And a photo, which is right there. And four ships. One, two, three, four, and two crabs. I totally saw both crabs. Oh, there's the other anchor. There's one. And the other one was not up here. There's a squirrel in a box. It's a bit weird. There's a starfish in the pipe and a ruler. That's a slide rule. And a dagger. Alright, where's the buoy, the bell, and the crab? There's the bell. I know I saw the other crab. I need a bell and a crab. That's not a bell. No. There's some keys and a knot. Oh, there's the crab. I knew it was made of metal too, but I thought it was over here for some reason. Okay, a buoy. Oh, 
That's not a buoy, that's a life preserver. I love how he thinks he's going to be able to run a ship with holograms because he has pictures of people that work doing that. That is completely new information to this particular part of the game. Okay. The essential crew member has been found. The helm will be a true, a true storm-hardened captain. His living prototype made a fatal mistake, but that doesn't matter. And an, an un, imperturbable copy never makes mistakes. I mean, I guess, but like, that's not how it worked in the original thing. All right, let's see. We did that. We did that. No, we did that too. All right. I don't know what we're doing next. What else did we need to do? Oh, this is just me looking at stuff. He's impressed that he is famous because he murdered people, but his brother was never famous because his brother only made inventions and never murdered people. Seems a bit harsh. Ah, pilot. Why do I need a pilot? This is not an aircraft. Now I have a veteran fighter pilot at my disposal, a first class airman. It's ironic that I even have an airplane he once flew. Nonetheless, I will give my holographic pilot knowledge about all types of modern flying vessels. We'll see if another pilot will be able to approach my yacht without my permission. It is not ironic at all. Okay, so now I guess we're gonna make holographs and nobody like the fire department has showed up at this yacht yet. Oh, I need tools? Okay, that's fair. What on earth? Bizarre. Oh, please don't do that again. Phantom ship on the horizon. Last night on the open seas, a luxury yacht belonging to Sheik Alibaba was found. The billionaire had reported the vessel missing months ago. It's alleged that the found yacht sailed while empty. All members of the crew were gone. The witnesses claim seeing ghosts on board. Scientists reject the ideas of a yacht ran by unknown forces, but in the faith these faithless times, we ask ourselves what this abnormal phenomenon is about and what danger it may cause. The Flying Dutchman. There is a story wandering among sailors about a ghost ship that can never go home, doomed to sail the oceans forever. Its name is the Flying Dutchman. The ghost ship is usually spotted from far away, sometimes glowing with a ghostly light. It's said that if it's hailed by another ship, its crew will try to send messages to land or to people long dead. In the ocean lore, the sight of this phantom ship is a portent of doom. I mean, that boat is glowing because it's tricked out. I don't think it has anything to do with ghosts. So he totally got away and is tooling around the ocean in a stolen billionaire's yacht. And the end. <laughs> I have questions. Question number one is I assume he's going to be a continuing bad guy? Question mark? Question two is why did the fire and uh, fire department not show up when all of those people jumped into the ocean because like the boat was on fire he didn't leave quickly like that was not a thing <laughs> he's just like chilling yeah okay well that was uh the void wait what are the achievements oh i didn't get some of them. that's fine though the next mystery trackers is Raincliff. Oh, that's right. They have like, so Ravenhurst is the mystery case files, big game. The one that started off, not started the series, but started off it famously. It made it popular. So mystery trackers apparently has Raincliff, which is very similar, especially since Ravenhurst is on a rainy cliff. So, so that was a very, very strange game. And I did not expect that to be the bonus episode at all. I don't know what I was expecting, but that wasn't it. It wasn't terrible. It just didn't make a lot of sense. And it did have some of the best 
WTF moments from screen to screen that I've seen in any of these games. Like we'd come around the corner and there'd be a bedroom and then we'd spend a bunch of time, oops, spend a bunch of time in the bedroom and then we'd turn our head and there'd be a dead body sitting there. Or there was a giant troll or there was a gorilla reading a book. Like it, it was like so crazy. So I kind of liked it, but it was very strange. So now we are done for the day and I am fate touched and I will see you later. Bye.